As I was thinking that, uh-oh, I am dead. Until I see her with her shocking look, and I knew I was going to regret this. So I said to her, well, look, Susie, I uh, kind of forgot to mention my real thing there, so... But don't worry, I'm breaking up with her because I had this crazy feeling that I was meant for to be with you. So, I'm going to have to go to her place and explain this whole out. Then if it goes wrong, I might be in a lot of more trouble. So Susie says, Um, okay. So, uh, I wish the uh, hellhound like you or a demon, by the way, till Vortex said. Oh uh, yeah, she's a hellhound, but she's also half kind of like a bee because she uh, has power to teleport or like this alcohol stuff. Then of course, hers, um, mm, she flies and f has wings like a bee and she has four arms and grows to a giant. So yeah, she's a hellhound, but a hybrid you might call it. Tell the demon so. Alright, and if, if you want, I guess I could just wait until I see how it goes, of course. And Vortex said, Well, what? Oh, no, 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 you ain't come with me because I don't want her to stomp on you or hurt you in any way, okay? Besides, it's until I was thinking, wait a minute, is she trying to see how much she'll yell at me or something? Until I ask, are you just trying to actually really... Trying to see I get yelled at or hurt or something, and you're gonna make a f joke about it later? So she said, Hmm, maybe. We just have to wait and see. So, Vortex, Lisa and I took Roscoe's car and drove to the place. And I was like, Hmm, that was actually nice. She must be rich or something. And tell, we got to door and Vortex asked me, saying, all right, you can just stay out here. What do you hear? Or you think it's going to happen? You keep that to yourself. You got that, Missy? Oh, yes, Daddy. And Vortex just blushed and just went in. And that's when I was waiting for a few seconds for him to be finished. Then I heard this out the door. Ah! Oh, I can't believe you! You cheated on me with a human? How could you? We've been together for so long and you... Just had the dusty chill me without telling me? How could you, Vortex? Tell so I heard Vortex and he, he was whipping saying. Uh, look, B, I swear, I, um, you know, it was, it was weird. I had this really crazy feeling like I was calling, cunting to her, but that's how I didn't know what was wrong with me. I swear I didn't know what came over me. All told me that I had to be with her. That is it, I swear to you, B. I couldn't believe it. Vortex was getting yelled at and losing to a woman. Until I heard her sing. Well, I want to see her. You bring her inside now. And I want to meet her and see if she's even required for you. Alright, Vortex? And besides, don't you ooh, bing in a little whip about it, or don't try to with me until Vortex just opened the door and waved me over here. Until I knew <laughs> he is really losing it. Until I thought when he gave me a look, saying, Don't even joke about it. Until I met her. And Vortex was right. Until I didn't wish I had a lot of like glowing hair. Until she said, Hmm, so this is the human you're with, Vortex? So I looked at him and he nodded, and she was like, ache. Huh, I have to get you, she does kind of look like you, and reminds of you, so... Hmm, but it doesn't get the straight, but uh, why are you into her more than me? Yeah. And so I say, well, I think it's kind of like an animal thing. I am half a vet, a vet, a Nigerian, by the chance. Until she said, hmm, a vet? So, do you know what's wrong with Vortex? Well, uh, I looked at her and said, Well, I heard animals have this thing called a mating gland. It's kind of like if you see like a male and a female animal, and they see each other, 
and that means they imprint on each other. Since Vortex is a hellhound male, and you are a female, I think your your senses didn't go off. Somehow his sense came on me, and I don't know how. Also, I just now we've been together for, for half a minute. Till he saved me from my ex-boyfriend, and till she said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, Vortex saved you from your ex-boyfriend." Until I said, yeah, he came out from hell here and tried to attack me. And I don't know why. He said I hired some thugs. Until uh, oh, she said, wait, Vortex, do you know that girl Luna by any chance? Until uh, Vortex said, hmm? oh, yeah, I got Luna's number. Uh, why, though? Uh, wait a minute. You don't think. And her and the other er, er, that I met, I told you about, out went off to kill her, her ex for something that a person said about him, and then just killed him, and she, he came out of nowhere to think it was her. That doesn't make any sense, B. It doesn't make sense at all. Well, unless I can give her a call and ask her questions, but it's kind of too getting too late for that, so. You gotta get back to Russ, cuz, and, and rest up a bit, alright? Till I knew, I was so gonna get the doghouse. So I said, hmm, okay. Well, hey B, you uh, did, did sing a cotton candy song, right? Vortex here told me you sang that before, and it was on some website I heard about. So she said, Oh, you heard my song? Yeah, girl, I am so good at singing that song. It's, it's the only song I'm really good at singing. So, maybe we can have a, like, Halo night together. They're, like, like, I sing and you sing. And let's see who has a good singing voice. Tell you her say, oh, you're on, Missy. I beat a lot of guys and girls at karaoke songs. And the crowd went wild for me. So she said, Okay, girl, I will see you to my next party. So Vortex was shocked. And I see his face. I laughed. Are you seriously getting worried about this, Vortex? And so Vortex said, What? No! I'm not getting worried about this, alright? What does everyone think? I get worried for some reason. And so I'm a tough hellhound. Now, come on, let's go. I was eyes. I. Think, think we might need to be watched or something, so let's go. So we made it back to Vraska's house, and Vortex was helping me sew in. He bought me some new clothes and a coat or some um, nice these women wear, so I can wear it underneath my clothes, just in case I have to take a shower. And the shower, I had to. As I got the water running, tell. Uh, I was getting this weird feeling someone is in the bathroom with me. Till the shower curtains open, I turned. I was like, Vortex, what are you doing? Until Vortex said, What? I'm taking a shower too. He says, I am a hell hat. And you know how much smell gets into my fur these days? And tell you know I might be smelling. I'm really bad at after this, all right? As I was, like, trying to tell Vortex X not to do it, but I had to let this go. So I said, okay, you can come in, but don't look at me. Tell you, give me a look, girl, I need to see so I can clean myself. And tell I said, all right, you can look, but don't stare at me. Until he... Now I understand. As I was trying my best to hide the scars that he saw on our first account from my friend's party, then Vortex asked, You know, it's gonna be hard to ask her, but why did your boyfriend give you that scar for? I don't see a reason why he had to give it that to you if he, like, he had to hurt you for some reason. You want to tell me? Tell you, Lieutenant, 
Well, for it was so hard trying to convince him not to hurt me. It, I told him that I wasn't cheating on him. I wasn't seeing one because I was like going to work and I was going in th to stay with my friends to go out together. Then all of a sudden he just gets all upset. Then he he had his knife and he slashed me with it. I had to call the cops on him for or cutting me. Then and all of a sudden he saw him coming back to my life and trying to ruin it by I sit around and drinking and do drugs and I was so sick and tired of it. Good thing he was asleep though. And so I was like I was to be cute. Alright, get that's in today's video. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And guys, I got a comment about Black Diamond. Let you guys know I don't think she's never coming back. If she wants to come back, we'll wait for it. If not, we will respect that. And I'll see you on the next video.